So we're tasked with writing a function that's going to take a string and return all of the permutations of that string. So a function which will take a string and will return an array of all of those permutations of the string. So an array of strings. So how can we build the permutations of a string? Let's start with an easy example, like cat. One thing we can do is choose a letter, choose another letter from whatever's left over, and continue doing that until we've built a string of the length of the original string. So let's see what that might look like. I'm going to choose C as the first letter, and then AT will be what's left over. So that would look like C, and then A and T are left over. Let's continue building from here. So we have C and now A as the second letter, so C, A and T is left over, and we could go the other way, where we have C, T, and A is left over. Add the final letter, well, there's only one last letter we can add, so that's C, A, and T. Same thing here, C, T, and A. So we'll continue doing that now, we're choosing A as our first letter, and C, T is what's left over. So we'll have A here, and then C, T left over. Continue building our string, we can choose A, C, and T. We can also choose A, T, and C. Continue building the string. We can choose A, C, and T. We can choose A, T, and C. That's the final choices we have left over. Um, next up, we could choose T as our first letter. What's left over would be C and A. We can again add a second letter. That would be T, C, with A left over, as well as T, A, with C left over. Finally, add the last letter, T, C, and A, T, A, and C. And now I know that I've built every permutation of cat. Now, one thing about permutations to be aware of is that um, if I'm building a permutation of uh, three possible characters, then I know I'm going to have uh, three factorial uh, permutations. I know that because it will always be n factorial permutations. In this case, 3 factorial is 6, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our approach is going to involve looping through the string, choosing a character, separating it from the rest, adding that character to the, the base string that we're kind of building, and as we build each one of these permutations, we can push them into some results array that we can return at the end. And I think that may be a good approach to actually start coding from there. Let's write our get perms function. So const get perms is going to be a function which takes a string and it's going to return an array of all of the permutations of that string without any duplicates and sorted. So let's think of our base case. This is going to be a recursive algorithm. And our base case should be if the string length is 1, that's already all of the permutations it can have. So we'll just return that in an array. So uh, if the string length is 1, we can just return the string in an array. Next, we're going to need a results variable that will just capture all of our sub-results, all of the permutations to return later. So const results is just an array there. Um, we're now going to have to loop through the string and start building all of our permutations. So uh, let i equal 0, and we'll use a while loop while i is less than the string length. We'll do some things. So like we said on the whiteboard, we're going to need to choose an individual character and separate it from all of the other characters. Well, choosing an individual character is pretty easy. So const uh, letter, we'll say, equals the string at i. Now we need to get all the other characters. And this is a good place to use the slice method. We can slice everything before i and slice everything after, put them together, and then we've got all of our other characters. So const other letters equals um, string slice from 0 to i plus the string slice from i plus 1 to the rest. And that should give us our other letters. At this point, we can start building our permutations. So we will call get perms on the other letters. And for each one of those sub permutations, uh, we will concatenate our letter 
plus the, the subperm, and then push that into our results array. Um, so let's write that out. We'll call get perms with the other letters. And for each of those subperms, I'll call them, or subperm, we're going to push that into the result with the letter, letter plus the subperm. And that should build them all for us. Um, the last thing we're going to need to do, or one of the last things we're going to do, is uh, actually increment our i. And uh, we only want to actually increment our i if it's the uh, if, it, if it's the same character, um, so we don't get any duplicates. So so what I mean by that is uh, while the string at i is equivalent to the letter, we can do i plus plus. So that way we don't do any duplicates. Finally, we want to return our results. And this particular problem wanted them sorted, so we can just call dot sort right there. And this looks like it should work to me. Uh, but let's actually test it. So let's console log um, get perms with the string cat. So I know cat is three characters long, and I know permutations will be n factorial. So I should expect a six element array as my result. So I'm just going to grab my function. I'm going to hop on over to node and test it out. And good, it looks like it works. This looks pretty sorted to me. And it is six elements long. Um, let's test the case where we have uh, a letter that has two of the same characters. Uh, so we can call get perms on my name, Matt. Um, and we should get no uh, duplicate. So let's try that. It's sorted, and we have no duplicates. Fantastic. Um, but can we do better? So right away, I know that we are creating a whole bunch of results. And I know that results is much larger than the string. Right? There's n factorial um, at the most results. And we're sorting those n factorial results. But what we could do instead is actually sort the string in the beginning. And then all of our results should come out sorted already. Um, so that would be much faster than sorting the n factorial results. So let's write a, another function that will use getPerms as a helper function. Um, so let's say const getPerms faster. Again, it'll take a string. and. What we want to do is sort that string right away. So we'll say const sorted string is the string dot split into an array. Let's sort that array. And then let's join it back up into a string. And we can finally return uh, our get perms of the sorted string. And let's test that out. We'll grab this here. Head on over to node, clear out, add that function, and let's test it. So we're going to get perms faster on my name, Matt. And it still works, and it's definitely uh, quite a bit faster. So that's how you would solve, or at least how I would solve, uh, string permutations.